Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a perfect storm of unholy truths. But what's a frown but just an upside down smile? Okay, you don't like being told how to play, I get it. Let's go. Okay now, first question. Jamal's knowledge of what classic book wins him the grand prize in the movie Slumdog Millionaire? Use your device to answer the question. Time's running out. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. All of the safe players have been provided with a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. My chalices are BPA free. Holy crap! Yeah. The drinks have been drunk. Now let's see what everyone drank. <laughs> Say what? No one drank any poison? Great, now I've got all this unused chalice poison just sitting here. And now, the scoreboard! Wait, that's supposed to be a scareboard! Dang it! I messed up the joke. Uh, just forget it. It's a scoreboard, okay? It's a scoreboard. Next question. If you think I'm sick, you should check out this Shakespeare guy. Which of the following characters from Shakespeare's Othello does not die from stabbing? Correct answer is this one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I have a surprise for you. Welcome back to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's the best potato chip flavor? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Are you proofreading that thing? Hit send! Yeah. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Take the answer that makes you go, uh, no thank you. Yeah. The votes are in. Even freedom of speech is like, this should have been banned. <laughs> and now you're dead. See? Real consequences down here. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghost still gets to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. Let's take a peek at those scores. Who's feeling the pressure? Let's try this again. Edvard Munch painted which work of art? <laughs> who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, prepare for your punishment. It's time for some finger cutting. Fingers are overrated, right? 
Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's the opposite of difficult. <laughs> Drop. Drop. Cut. <laughs> Looks like my puppies are eating well tonight. Let's try another one. Ash Ketchum is the main character on what cartoon? And the correct answer is... This one. Let's play a game. It's time for a memory game. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If you have the worst memory, you die. Don't forget! Voila! Look familiar? How did you do? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Alright, next question. Here's a question that's near and dear to my spleen. How many circles of hell are in the inferno? for you. Good news. It's fighting time. You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. The important thing is that you do your best. Oh, and that you kill someone. Yeah, that is probably the most important thing. Just like you to throw up your emotional shield. And your literal shield. But since no one attacked you, it's time for your punishment. <laughs> you can check out the full explanation of the tiebreaker rules over on my website. Unless it's been hacked again. God, it really makes you feel so helpless when that happens. But what are you gonna do? There are just bad people in this world. <laughs> Here's another one. Who loses the building and loan businesses money that gets George Bailey in trouble in It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah. Time's running out. Who picked this? Prepare for your punishment. It's time for a dice game. I'll go first. Nine. Now I need an assistant. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice is yours. This could go either way. Exciting. Roll lower than me or you die. Are you kidding? You really need to work on your rolling game. Ta-ta! Let's 
try another one. I'm thinking about mixing it up and torturing you with music. Which of these songs is the longest? Time for some wordplay! Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. My ransom letters could use a little bit more pizzazz. Everybody else will be playing along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. Spell words now! By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Ooh, let's see what you did there. Let's see if anyone beat you. Dang, if it makes you feel any better, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> to be fair, predators are supposed to attack the weakest link. Only one player left alive, just how I like it. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. U.S. Island Territories. Tap on each answer that fits, then press Submit. Anytime today, kiddo. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Decisions. 
got a ghost breathing down your neck. Spooky! Great gods. A bunch of smart people, huh? Good. Now escape before the others catch you. Decisions, decisions. 